NRL Fanatics here, back today with a video. Now, before getting into the question I'm going to give to you guys, and I'm going to give my thoughts on it, there was a report yesterday by Brent Reid, a reporter here in Australia, and he did this chat on Triple M Radio, and this is regards to Ken Mamalo. Now, as you guys know, Ken Mamalo, now he has been injured for majority of the season. You know, he hasn't been playing lately and he hasn't been in the squad. So, look, now this report was regards to Ken and it's saying that Ken is expected to leave the Warriors at the end of the season. Now, apparently, he and his manager have gone around and asked other NRL clubs for a contract for next season and beyond. Now, I'm not too sure how accurate and true this is because, you know, at the end of the day, reporters, they can come out and say this and that and often it's not true. But according to, you know, a strong source, and, and that is Triple M. Now, Triple M is a pretty decent radio station and at the end of the day, you know, so they often get the reports right. But, you know, Ken Mamalo, and I think Ken Mamalo's had a pretty quiet season this year so far. I'm not saying he's been terrible, but I think he's had a quiet season, to be fair, in, in my opinion. But you probably will disagree with that. You probably will agree with it. Let me know. But I reckon Ken's, you know, hasn't had the best of seasons. He's been quiet so far this year, like I've said. But, you know, if Ken wants to presume an opportunity elsewhere, I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm not going to be disappointed, you know. Yes, I love to see Ken stay, you know. I think Ken Mamala is a very good player and he's got the potential, you know, to improve and get better. But if Ken doesn't believe he's got the motivation to stay with the Warriors, you know, and he wants to go to another team, that's totally up to him. That's fine. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, yes, you know, as a fan, you're going to be disappointed if a player leaves. But you also got a perspective that, there's a player that you don't want to keep at the club, which is fine. That's fans' opinions at the end of the day. But my opinion, you know, I've got a, I've got a mixed view on it, you know, with Ken Mamalo. Yes, he's had a quiet season so far. Yes, he's not been at his best. But also, yes, I'd be also a little bit gutted if he does leave the club at the end of the season. Because, you know, if he goes to another team, which I understand, which is fair enough, you know, at the end of the day, he deserves to have the best motivation whenever he is playing. So, yeah, I do wish Ken all the best. You know, whatever he decides, if he wants to stay next year, that's great for the Warriors. That's great for him. But if he wants to leave, you know, that's also great for him as well. So, yeah, I do want to, you know, just address my thoughts on the Ken Ma Mamalo reports in regards to him leaving at the end of the year. But, you know, I can't comment too much on, on that at the end of the day. It's entirely up to Ken. It's entirely up to the club what they want to do moving forward. And I trust the club. Look, a lot of people don't trust what the club does. You know, if you watch Gus Gould's interview, I'll bring it up again on Gus Gould's interview. I listen to what he said, and I understand what the club's going to do for the future. So, at the end of the day, you know, good luck to Ken, and, you know, do what's best for yourself and what's best for your family. And, yeah, I, I can't comment too much and say what you need to do, but all the best to Ken. Now, the next thing I'm going to ask you guys, and this is a question I really want to ask you, is in regards to an off-contract player. Now, you guys will probably disagree with me. That's fine. Let me know in the comment section, you know, what, what you'd like to see happen. But, and this is regards to Ruben Garrick. Now, Ruben Garrick is off contract at the end of this season. Now, I believe it that Manly have offered him a contract, but for less money that he really wants to get, which, you know, fair enough. But Ruben Garrick, you know, I think he's a great... Player. I think he's got the potential to be a great player. He's young. He's quick. He's fast. He's a good winger. He can goal kick as well. He can score tries. 
Now, Isaac Ruben Garrett, you know, he's not the flashiest of players. He's not the flashiest of wingers out there in the NRL in terms of, you know, that great excitement in the game. But, you know, he does his job, Ruben Garrett. He does his job. He can he can defend well. You know, he can score tries. He can do all sorts of stuff and attributions in the game. But for me, Ruben Garrett, you know, would be a handy player to have to sign at the club. You know, if Ken Romalo's leaving, like I said, you know, I reckon Ruben Garrick would be a handy player to bring into the side for the next couple of seasons. But that's my thoughts on him. I reckon he'd be a great player. I reckon he'd do a decent job. Now, yes, you know, he's not he's not a Sevo, he's not a you know, he's not a Josh Shadow car, but at the end of the day, you know, does a decent job and doesn't disappoint, but, you know, you look at last year, Ruben Garrick probably didn't have a great year, but the previous season, he had a pretty decent year in the Seagulls' colours, so. The big question is, though, does Ruben Garrick want to leave Australia and head to New Zealand? That is the big question. Does he want to leave Australia and head to New Zealand? Because, you know, in the past with the Warriors, we've tried to go after players, and they've turned them they turned us down, even if we offered them more money, they still turned us down. They stayed at their clubs for less money. And that's that goes to show whether the Warriors, you know, do have an issue in regards to recruiting players over to the side of the country, but to New Zealand. But yeah, like, like I said, that's my thoughts now on the regards to the Ken Mamalo rumours. That's my thoughts in regards to signing Ruben Garrick, whether I believe he should sign for the Warriors. I definitely am 100% behind it. I reckon we should offer him a contract now. Why not? You know, if it doesn't work out, then fair enough. But why not go after him? P Peter O'Sullivan, recruitment manager, if you're watching this, which is probably highly unlikely, I reckon we should sign Ruben Garrick. Definitely. I mean, if you look at that, if you look at the way he plays, I reckon he's, you know, a pretty promising player coming up, and I reckon he would definitely do a decent job here at the Warriors. But, like I said, let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on, one, the Ken Mamalo situation, two, the question in regards to signing Ruben Garrick, would you like to see him sign for the Warriors next year and beyond? Let me know. And also, don't forget, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that red subscribe button, and let's get the channel to 600 subscribers in the next couple of weeks. At the moment, the channel's at 563 subscribers, so thanks to the new subscribers that have recently hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit the like button on the video as well, and I'll see you all on Sunday afternoon for a live stream between the New Zealand Warriors and the Melbourne Storm Round 14 NRL fixture, and also, don't forget as well, straight after that live reaction, I will be doing a review of the game. So make sure you tune in for that one as well.